Hello, we have 12 restored or reconditioned German uprights in stock at the moment. I just want to go through them and also compare them to some modern uprights and to help you to think about whether you want to buy an, an old German restored piano or a modern upright piano. This is the Steinway to start with and this has been sold before. It's fully restored and we've reconditioned it since then though it didn't need a lot of reconditioning. Uh, we brought it back into stock. I know this piano very well. It's an excellent piano and uh, as good as you can get really for, for an upright piano. I won't have time to go through them all in depth, but excellent tone and touch. I'm going to start off with the Steinways that we have in stock and then work downwards as it were price wise. Actually two of our top Steinway uprights are being reconditioned or fully restored. This is a French polished fully restored Steinway that we're doing. It's, we're fitting a new Steinway action from Steinways and this is a, a Model V uh, about 121 centimetres high. Uh, that's having new hammers and uh, fully restored action. I'm not quite sure how much work we're doing on this but basically we'll choose if, if it doesn't need new strings and the strings tuning pins are really tight then obviously it can be less expensive because we don't have to restring it the original strings often sound really good. In this case, we're working extensively on the action. Here's the, the action of that piano on the bench. As you can see, it's got new Steinway hammers and half the dampers are off at the moment. We're fully redoing the dampers as well. Uh, so obviously expensive to do this, but well worth it on a top quality Steinway. We also have an American Steinway here, just come into stock, 1978. Um, I've made a video comparing this to the Richard Lip next to it which has also come into stock to, uh, which I hope will help to think about the piano but it's an excellent piano um, and well look if you watch the video then you can see I'll just have a quick um, play of the very full sound very very uh, responsive action and coming down from that price wise they're not quality I really rate Groch and Steinberg very highly indeed um, and this is a 19 36 one, so it's quite late actually for Grotch and Steinberg uprights of this style um, But uh, they're all excellent. They're all very obviously again. We'll make a video of this one I haven't got a video yet of this one, but uh, such a rich warm sound they have And this is a 1925 or 6 a Grotchen 125. They're either 120, 125 or 130 normally Grotchens of this period. We're really searching for these pianos. Um, this one, as you see, looks very different. It's been repolished rather beautifully, not, not by us, but excellently done. And uh, this one has, uh, I think it has replacement key tops. Yes, it does. Again, excellent tone. You've heard had many videos of Groch and Steinworks before because we've res restored or reconditioned many of them. So fine piano indeed. So the next down in price is Beckstein Model 9 made in about 1924 and uh, this age of Beckstein Model 9 is our preferred age of that particular model. Uh, we haven't tidied up the casework on this but we spent all of last week re uh, reconditioning and restoring. It did have a lot of moth actually under the keys um, I've got another video of that, I'll try and link it to this one. Um, but we've, we've, well, we've changed all the felt basically and uh, treated it as well. But we're very impressed by this piano. It's been restrung and reconditioned before it came to us. I don't think I'll have enough time to make another video of this. So just briefly, um, f first rate ivory keys, no uh, damage to them whatsoever. And, and coming up onto the action, you can see the tapes are perfect, it's return tapes. Uh, as I say, it's been restored before it came to us. And the hammers, uh, they are original Beckstein hammers um, and very, very little wear. We'll have a quick listen in a second. Um, Restrung and repinned. You can see the new strings there, new tuning pins. An excellent job. Uh, so we're very pleased to have got hold of this piano. And you can hear the bass. So this is easily the best stage for a Beckstein Model 9 and uh, it's a very fine piano indeed. This is an earlier Beckstein Model 9, made in 1910. Still a wonderful piano. Um, and uh, Beckstein 9 start from about 1902, when they re restyled all the Beckstein pianos from the numbers 1 to 5 became numbers 6 to 10. And uh, this is a, 
I know the piano well. We've actually sold this and we brought it back in. And a wonderful piano too. Uh, so all of these German pianos are carefully chosen, pianos that we really like. We also have two Richard Lip uprights in stock. Uh, actually, they straddle in price the Bechstein Model 9s. They are a make that we're really looking for all the time. This is 130 centimetres high. Please note as well, this is 85 keys, and as said on many other videos, that that's fine for 99% of musicians, really. Um, I think the most those top three notes that are missing, you very rarely use. Um, if you're a serious musician, you might want them. But these key tops, they've been replaced. I'm a bit disappointed we had every single one was there, and this key top wasn't there, so we've tried to match it up. We found a good grain to match the, the grain of the replacement, but it's a little untidy here. So that devalues the piano quite considerably on our, from our point of view. Because the case is wonderful, actually. It's a kind of satin finish. We didn't do it ourselves. We didn't restore this piano. We have reconditioned it since though. And the tone, I'll just give you a quick idea of the tone. I think I've got a video of this piano when it first came in, but assessing it. But uh, just, well, I think I'm not going to use superlatives again because you've heard them too many times from me, but it's one of the pianos that we particularly like. And this is the other Richard Lip, just come into stock, really pleased with the piano. There is a video contrasting this and the Steinway, or comparing them just to help you to think about the pianos. But uh, again, an excellent piano. We have a 1904 Bechstein Model 10 here, again, 85 notes. And again, one of the most popular Becksteins, uh, sold many, many of these into the UK. So it's one that we deal with a lot. Um, and uh, they have a really warm tone to them, very warm in the center. Again, other videos about this, because they, these are straight strum model, uh, because that gives a better tenor area. Though of course the bottom bass on the straight strum is not very rich but it usually use the bottom bass in an octave, so it's not quite so important. I think the tenor area around here is the important area. Um, there's other videos about that, so um, I'll, I want to keep this one short. And there's a Caps upright in our workshop area, which we're still finishing off. I, I particularly love Caps pianos, not only the tone of them, but obviously, as you can see, top and bottom panels inlaid with very tasteful inlay. Um, the case isn't perfect on this piano, so it's not as expensive as it would be if we'd repolished it. But uh, uh, this is an instrument that I'm particularly fond of. And the tone, well, it's as good as uh, the other ones that we just looked at. Um, I'm going to give you, it's not finished off, the damping's not quite right yet, but we're going to hear the bass there. Uh, typically good, strong German bass. And uh, rich, rich middle area. So all these German firms competed against each other, of course, to try and make the best pianos. So um, these top makes were, were so, such excellent instruments. And last of all, this Grotsch and Steinweg upright piano. Um, last of all, because it's a rental piano, it's only 50 pounds a month. We're not selling this piano. This actually belongs to a client. I think they bought it from us originally and they don't want to part with it and they've moved out of the country or a similar story. Very often we have clients like that and we, as long as we can rent them out, we don't charge storage for as long as they, well, up to five years maximum and then they either have to sell, them, sell the piano to us or think about what to do. But this is uh, as good as the other Grotsch and Steinbergs really. Um, so, well, a quick listen to it. So again, rich, warm sound. I ought to have different adjectives than those. I'm always using the same ones, but just uh, very well made, very resp very responsive, very stable. Now, last of all, we're going to look at some modern pianos just to think a bit about why you might buy a restored German one rather than a modern one. So here's a Yamaha U1. We've got several of these in stock. And let's listen to the Grotsch and Steinberg compared to. So I don't know how well you can pick that up on the video, but it's a warmer, richer sound. Sorry, I've used the same words again. Uh, make some comments, see if you can choose some better adjectives than those. But that's what they are. They're, the old German piano, uh, a lot more expensively made. Obviously the cabinet work is uh, a lot more work gone into it than a modern piano. Um, so in its day, it was very, very expensive. And uh, this, this is, uh, let's listen to some of the bass notes. 
Now let's listen to a different Yamaha. So a different Yamaha, a different Yamaha picked at random. Back to the Grotrian. And uh, it's much, it's much more round sound. Um, there's more harmonics. It's more interest to it. And this Richard Lip, which is a bit taller, same height as a Yamaha U3. Here's a Yamaha U3, picked at random. So it's it's a, it's a very precise sound, and very accurate sound, uh, but less juicy, shall we say. Here's a Yamaha YUS5, more precise, similar overtones, similar variety of, sorry, similar tone really to the U3, very precise action, extremely precise. This is a Hoffman we have in stock. Again, this is slightly more, slightly more interesting sound than the Yamaha. The action on the Yamaha probably beats this one slightly. Last of all on this test, this is a Steinway, one of the first piano we looked at, I think. And, uh, Similar quality, really, to the lip and to the Grotrian. So just briefly finishing up with this uh, Richard Lip upright piano. Why would you choose a restored German piano rather than a modern Yamaha, modern Kawai, modern Forik? They're the main ones that we do. The new makes we do are Forik and uh, Kawai, mainly. If you want real precision, you can get it on the old pianos. It takes a lot of work and of course we try and get them as precise as we can. If we fully restore them then uh, we, they will be as precise as a new piano. If they're reconditioned, let's say that they will be 85-90% as precise. But the tone of the piano, I have to say in my house I'd never have a modern upright piano. I'd always have a German piano. I have room for a grand, fortunately, but when I've had uprights, it's been top quality German pianos, very occasionally a top quality English piano, but Richard Lipp, Grotrian Steinweg, Steinway, other top makes are the ones we're really looking for and we delight in them. So I want to encourage you, if you're a serious student, then you're just as well well off with one of these as you are with a Yamaha, with a Kawai, with a Forik, and I think better off in terms of tone. In terms of tone. Thank you very much for listening.